Thank you, General. Members of the Honor Guard and uh, officers and men stationed at the base and the members of their family. I want to express on behalf of us all our very warm thanks to you for a generous reception to the governor, to the senators, members of the congressional delegation. We have uh, come from Washington this morning to Pierce, South Dakota, to take part in the dedication of the largest dam of its kind in the world, to uh, Pueblo, Colorado, to take part in a celebration of the beginning of one of the most unusual water developments in the United States. And I come here now to take part with the people of California in a great, uh, tremendous water development which can mean so much to this state. What makes all this possible, this tremendous national development, of course, is in part the work of the men who are stationed at this, this Air Force base. The men who are stationed here and their comrades in a hundred different bases stretching across this country and indeed around the world have kept the peace for the United States for many years, have protected our security and that of dozens of countries which are associated or allied with us. So though these planes may be here, and the men who uh, man them may be living in your community, in your town. It is they and others like them, and those who have gone before, and those who will come after, that keep the peace and protect our security and permit us to develop our resources and train our people and educate our children. So I want to thank all of you. And I know uh, in expressing my appreciation to you for your welcome here, I express the thanks of the people of the United States to the men who serve here. Thank you.